You don't need to go to Niagara Falls when you can eat some Brian Ball. What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, and welcome back to another What's in Stores video. And um, as you guys can tell, I'm pretty uh, psyched up with what we're going to be happening, what's going to be happening because uh, I'm not going to be at a Walmart or Target because if you guys have seen on my Instagram post, Walmart shelves are empty and Target, um, I guess it's a hit or miss when it comes to finding Wave 4 for NASCAR Authentics. But if you guys already know, I did found two of the cars from Wave 4 that I didn't. Um, review on a what's in store video but i did do diecast reviews on those two so that's why i didn't really touch on them since you guys already saw the reviews if for any of you guys who don't know what i'm talking about i recently reviewed the kyle larson dc solar 2018 slash 2019 clash car <laughs> and also the chase elliott uh, napa dober win as well but i am on the hunt to find the rest of way four and um Heck, this is a first, guys. For once, I'm actually going to go inside of a Cracker Barrel because you guys know that there is a new Cracker Barrel Wade that has been released for NASCAR Authentics, which features, you know, some cars from Wave 3 and some cars from Wave 4. So I'm definitely going to be looking for the rest of the Wave 4 cars, which is the uh, Brakazowski Discount Tire. Um, but by the way, all these are for Mustang diecast I'm looking for. Still looking for that Brett Moffitt truck, but it's not in this uh, Cracker Barrel wave. So probably have to go on eBay or Instagram for that. Um, also going to be finding his teammate Ryan Blaney, the PPG car, because God almighty, I love that paint scheme. And we also got the Storehouse Racing cars as well for Clint Boyer's Peak and Eric Amarola's Smithfield. So hopefully I can find those four and many more else as we're going to go ahead and kick off this episode of What's in Stores. And uh, yeah. Hopefully we get some lunch afterwards as well. Cracker Barrel does sound pretty good. Finally, finally guys, we finally got some new die cast for the What's In Stores video. I got my bag right here that is, you know, very uh, Cracker Barrel-ish. <laughs> and of course, when you're at Cracker Barrel, you also gotta get, you know, this bad boy right here, some nice Stewart's Fountain Classics Origin Cream Soda. I always get this when I'm hanging out with all my friends at the races, because we usually, we have a tradition where we usually, we usually either go out to eat Chinese food or we go to Cracker Barrel. So uh, yeah, gonna be drinking that after this review, because don't want to be a burp fest, because God Almighty, my friends already know how much I burp <laughs> in reviews. <laughs> but a shout out to all of them, you guys probably know who they are. <laughs> but yeah, back to what I said, we hit the jackpot, guys. We finally got some new NASCAR diecasts in. So take that Walmarts, because they have been slacking like crazy. I don't know what's going on with their distribu distribution center, but it's pretty uh, horrific. If you guys want more info about that, check out Diecast Buffet, since you know he works for retail and <laughs> he knows all about that stuff. Really cool guy. If you guys haven't checked him out already, he's very underrated and he deserves subscribers way more than me. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we we ended up finding uh, the four die casts I was looking forward to, mostly the four Mustangs. So this is going to be really cool. And this is the first time I actually picked up die casts from Cracker Barrel. So it was a different experience. I got a little lost uh, in the store because I was trying to figure out where the stuff is, but they were on a nice little peg. So it might vary where these are going to be at, but if you guys just walk into the retail store and just look around, um, you guys will find them. So without further ado, I mean, well, if you guys want to know how much it came down total to, these were five bucks a piece. So they're a, they're like a, they're like uh, about the same as a Walmart price, probably like a four cent difference. But that's probably how much they are at Target. But here we go, guys. So the first one up, we got uh, Clint Boyer's 2019 Peak Antifreeze car. So really nice. I apologize that the camera does look reversed. I do not know how to in reverse it, but um, 
this is just for all show and tells. Um, you know, not the biggest fan of this package design. You guys take a look, the packaging is a lot more smaller. Um, wish really rich they could have done some more customization with this because it is pretty generic. Um, and plus, you don't get a trinket with this, and it's the same price as the NASCAR Authentics that you get at Walmart and Target. So that's a little disappointing, but you know, I'm desperate for die cast, and yeah, <laughs> sorry if you guys wanted me to do a magnet review on these cars, but uh, really nice, sleek looking paint scheme. I'm always a big fan of the peak colors, and you guys take a look, the Ford Mustang body is no exception. Really, really nice looking car. I mean, that, that the good thing about these Cracker Barrel cars is that um, you don't really have to take these cars out of the box because you basically get a 360 view of the car. Um, but, you know, with me, I got to review these. But this is a great, these are great for autographs. You guys take a look. I mean, the autographs, the autographs are going to show up pretty nicely on here. And if you guys want to look at the back, there's a checklist um, on what cars you got. So if you guys take a look, we got most of the cars, I think the only cars that we missed out on were the Bowman uh, Valvoline, the Kyle Larson uh, DC Solar 2019 car, and the William Byron Exalta. But other than that, we saw every single car in this wave, so that's a great start right there. Really excited about these Ford Mustang diecasts. All right, next up, I got a good feeling about this one. And what do you know? That's not rigged at all. It is the, um, I almost said Joey Logano. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Ryan Blaney's 2019 PPG Paints Ford Mustang. I mean, I know people are going to say it's the same exact paint scheme as last year's, but I love this car. It's a beautiful paint scheme, and it should have won the best paint scheme of last year, but, you know, Chase Elliott had to get that, so whatever. <laughs> Always good to, for next year, for this year, I guess. But... You can't go wrong with the PBG paint scheme. I cannot wait to do the side-by-side -side comparison of this car from uh, the side-by-side -side comparison from last year's car to this year's car because, man, Lionel really hit out the ballpark uh, with this uh, Ford Mustang body, as I'm already seeing a lot of paint chips on this car. Um, well, that's Lionel quality. What do you expect? There were two PBG cars, and this was the best one I got since there were more paint chips on the other one, but really nice-looking addition that we got right there of the Ryan Blaney PBG car. Two more. And next up, we got the good old Smithfield car, the Ford Mustang Smithfield of Eric Amarola and the Stuart Haas Racing uh, team, who are still winless this year. <laughs> it's pretty sad when you got um, you, you got Spire Motorsports, who is you know a car that's not even running for uh, points, has more wins than Stuart Haas. But on a brighter note, guys, I this is another car I'm looking forward to do a side by side comparison of. Um, Plus, also a good shout-out to my good buddy, David Land, on YouTube. I mean, I know this meme is kind of dead now, but, you know, every time there's a Smithfield car, I got to point it up to my boy, David Land. So, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a really cool car to review uh, along with the others. And the last car that I am planning to do a review on and another side-by-side -side comparison review on, it is Brad Keselowski's 2019 discount tire Ford Mustang. It's uh, just like the Ryan Blaney PPG car, the same scheme as last year's, but it's on the Ford Mustang body. And I'm really looking forward to this review. I know I keep saying that I, I want to do this side-by-side -side comparison reviews, but you guys do like that a lot. But man, it is just so odd to see no contingencies at all on the Penske cars for this year. Um, almost makes this car look like a test car, guys. I mean, my God. And of course, there's no Miller Lite logo as well. So the Penske cars are looking very, very plain for this year. But man, guys, I am, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry it has been a while for another What's in Stores, but man, NASCAR Athletics has been really slow, and there hasn't really that, been that much content here on YouTube, especially on my channel, because my channel relies on these bad boys, but um, yeah, guys, I'm looking forward to review the rest of these cars from Wave 4, as you guys see right there, these are uh, very small, but um, yeah, guys, and feel free to also tune in on uh, my review on the 187 NASCAR Authentics cars that are coming out very soon. Uh, we'll be doing a NASCAR Authentics uh, full wave review on that um, probably after this video. So once again, guys, this has been OBB. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on another What's the Stores video.